Hi everyone, I'm Amanda from the Rawford Kitchen and it's a beautiful sunny Sydney day here and I thought it would be a perfect day to make um, my summer, one of my favourite summer salads and that is uh, a recipe that I used to make when I um, was having my love affair with goat's cheese and before pre-raw days when I could actually eat goat's cheese and I've now rawified it and substituted the goat's cheese with a nut based um, cheese which is actually made from macadamia nuts. So what I'm going to do is show you how to make this recipe. I'm going to start off with the, um, the goat's cheese which is a cup of macadamia nuts which you could soak for a couple of hours if you wanted to to soften um, or you can just uh, chuck them straight in the blender. So I'm going to pop those in and then we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Now this is um, deactivated yeast so it doesn't affect candida and it's filled with B vitamins so really good for the, um, us vegans who need to get our B vitamins. And the beauty of this is that it gives um, any of your nut based cheeses that beautiful cheesy flavour. So um, I'm going to be generous with this. Two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Um, I'm going to add a pinch of Himalayan um, sea salt or Celtic sea salt. And just for some acidity, I'm going to use. The um, uh, half a lemon, juice of half a lemon, I mean you could use a little bit more or less, it's, it's depending on how much acidity you like in your recipes. So I'm just going to use half a lemon. And we're also going to just do a little bit of water just to help bind it. Now I'm just going to add a smidgen now because... Um, I don't want to go overboard because I don't want it to be uh, too runny. So I'm just going to pop that on. And put it on. And we're just going to blitz it. Until it's crumbly. And it's quite dry there as you can still see. So we just want to add a little bit more water. We can really get that mix coming together. Let's have a look again. So it's starting to look a little bit crumbly now, which is what we want. So I might just add a little bit more water. I think all in all, I had about four tablespoons of um, water in here. But again, just add more if you feel like you need to uh, wetten the mix up a little bit. Okay, that's nice and crumbly now. So, I'm just going to do a little taste test. Just so that, um, you just want to make sure that it's got that nice tart cheese flavour. You don't want it to be um, too bland. I'll just add a little bit more lemon juice. One little blitz. That's better. That's good. So I'm just going to set that aside while we make the rest of the salad. So we've got um, about just under 300 grams of rocket here. Now you could use any kind of bitter green. So you don't have to um, use rocket, but a nice bitter green is is probably um, goes really well with that sweetness of the pear that's going to go in there. So we have um, the rocket there, and then we're going to just um, slice up uh, one pear. You just want to finely slice. You don't want to make it too chunky. I just like to also, once I've done this, sprinkle some 
lemon juice over it to stop the, the pear from discolouring, from oxidising. Okay. So I'm just going to pop the pear into the salad um, and put the lemon juice over the top. Now, this recipe is actually in my Easy Raw Food Recipes to Get You Started ebook. Uh, I think it's on page 22. And this is, as I said, one of the firm favourites in the house. We love to have it for summer because it's just so refreshing. So I'm just going to squeeze some lemon juice over that to stop from discolouring. Now you could add the whole pear in there, but um, as I said, I'm just using a little bit less because um, it's just to serve one or two of us today. So just give that a toss through. And then we just want to add in a little bit of, just pop that out of the way, um, half a red onion. And you, you don't have to put this in if you're not a fan of onion, but I actually love onion, especially red onion. And we're just going to finely slice that up as well. Actually, it needs to come off a little bit more. We've just finely sliced onions again. And we just want to pop them in the bowl. Just separate them out as you drop them in. I think that'll do for now. Okay. And then we've got probably about a cup just under a cup of for our walnuts that I've soaked for a couple of hours, probably about um, four hours, just to remove that enzyme inhibitor on the nuts, which is the um, called phytic acid and makes um, digestion a little bit harder. So once you soak, you've removed that enzyme inhibitor, which makes digestion um, a lot easier for you when you're, when you're eating the nuts. So we're just gonna crumble that into the salad. I mean, you can leave some whole. It's quite nice just to have that crunchy texture in there. <laughs> Sorry, the cameraman is playing with his phone. All right, so now that we've got the nuts in there, we just want to add um, some tea towels. Sorry, I've been doing a we're just going to add um, our final ingredient, apart from the dressing, is just some mint. So we've got half a bunch of fresh mint, which, you know, is just such a great um, herb to add into a summer salad. So we're just going to tear that up. Again, you know, you could slice this, you could um, chop it up, but it's quite nice. Just I like it rustic. I like them chunky. I love a lot of mint, so um, I'm quite generous with how much mint I put in and the size of the leaves. Yeah, that's looking now. Just give that a bit of a toss through. Yum. Getting hungry. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got that, now I've made up a dressing here, which is a pretty simple dressing. It's just um, half a cup of extra virgin olive oil with uh, a tablespoon of dark raw agave and um, half a um, juiced lemon and a little bit of Himalayan sea salt. But if you're concerned about agave, because agave does have fructose in it, um, you can use any of the other sweeteners like the Yukon syrup or stevia is also a good one. Um, or maybe even some beautiful raw honey that would be really lovely to go in there. Now I'm just going to actually, just to mix them up, to, to combine it really nicely, I'm going to actually pop this in the good old magic fruit blender, um, which is so handy if you're just doing dressings or one-off smoothies. So um, if you don't have one of these in the kitchen, I highly recommend you get one. Um, they're pretty cheap. I think you can get them online for like 40 bucks. Um, they're called the Amazing Bullet Blender. So you can make that smoothie through. and easy. I'm just going to give it a taste test. Mmm, that's good. Okay, so I'm just going to pour that through. 
and I'm going to add the macadamia cheese in now. all that together. I like to get my hands in, they're nice and clean so that's allowed. I'm just going to combine all that together and then you've got this beautiful fresh summer salad. Okay, now we're just going to plate up. So see how simple and easy that was to make? So. Um, all you need to do is just to, you know, have a little bit of time ahead just so that you've got that soaking time there for um, your nuts, primarily the walnuts. Okay, how's that looking? Good enough to eat? What does the cameraman say? Cameraman says yes. <laughs> Cameraman sounds excited. I'm just gonna dot a few more blobs of the cheese around the plate. And I think this would be nice. Just topped off with a little bit of cracked pepper. There we have it. So that is the Rocket Pear Mint Walnut Salad with Goat's Cheese. And as I said, the recipe is available in my ebook. Um, and at the moment, if you're watching this and it's just before Christmas time, I'm running a special where you can grab um, my two ebooks for $20 um, as a bundle. So that would make a fantastic gift for anyone for Christmas. So jump online, therawfordkitchen.com.au and um, Grab your copy for Christmas today. Thanks for watching. Bye. Can I eat this now? <laughs>